Hey everyone, so I've just ordered a new toolbox off Amazon and basically checking the reviews and also having a quick look on YouTube. So the only real videos I could find for this particular toolbox were either 20 or 30 second informationals from the actual manufacturer or there was one video in a foreign language which didn't really help much either apart from um, showing, showing the box. So I thought I'll make a quick video just giving you a bit more information in terms of the, the box. What I'll do is I'll post on screen the actual item itself and I'll leave a link for it in the description below with all the dimensions and everything. But in this video, what I wanted to do was basically just go through um, what you can and can't do with, with regards to this box and also the build quality as well. So first things first, uh, in terms of locking the box, you literally have a little hole between these two top two sections. So the way it works is um, you have two locks on the side. Now these, unlike some other toolboxes where your lock locking mechanism is contained within this and you literally put a padlock through there, on this particular box there is only one location. So it's this, so it's going through fairly, fairly thick plastic, but obviously if somebody does want to break in, it's not gonna be hard for them. So it's more of a deterrent rather than um, basically stopping somebody from breaking in. Uh, but in terms of the, the box itself, so you unhook these two side clips, if you like. And then what that does is it gives you access to your top sections. So this is essentially the opening part of your cantilever. So if we just zoom out there, as you can see, so you can use each one individually. And you also have a little mechanism, scissor mechanism that gives you access and once again you can literally leave that one in place and have this one open and vice versa. So firstly we'll take a look at this. So firstly the mechanism itself, being completely honest, is a little flimsy. Um, if we just take a look inside there, so what it looks like is on this side you've literally just got a sort of um, a clip if you like that it's sitting into and then down at the bottom, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but it's almost like it's, it's sitting on a little kind of pivot. Um, the fact that there's two means that on, well, two on each side means that it probably isn't going to fall off or anything, but it doesn't really fill me with a lot of confidence in terms of if you were to put a lot of weight in these top sections. So obviously you have the dividers that you can adjust, you can remove all of these so you can have it all open or have it as I've got it here where you've got all of them in place. It comes with these separate so you can add and remove those as and how you choose. But like I say, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too confident in terms of putting a lot of weight in there. And as you can see from the way that the pivot mechanism works, it's it's not all in one. So even with this, as you can see, the two top sections, it is possible where they'll they'll sit slightly off. I'm guessing these little kind of hooks. Um, underneath are meant to sit into these and basically just stop it from moving about too much once it's in position. If you do use it from the lid like that, it tends to go forward and back a lot smoother. Whereas, obviously, if you pick it up from one side and move it, you're kind of twisting it and possibly could result in failure a lot quicker. Just open those two up and then we'll take a look at the inside of the box. So the inside, you do have wheels at the back and we also have a handle on the top as well so you've got this little section here where the the sort of um the joining bar if you like is located for the actual um wheels itself and then the rest of it is pretty much uh flat so your sides are all pretty pretty flat and the bottom's pretty flat as well now with this particular box i might even be able to fit my existing toolbox inside this it's that big. Obviously, anybody looking to buy this is probably going to be using it as a standalone. So you could probably get quite a few tools in here. These top sections are probably deep enough where if you did have a drill or something, you could even probably, and power tools, you could probably put them in sideways by taking out all of the locate um, the separators as well. But essentially, I, I just needed something that was a bit more mobile because the toolbox that I have currently is weighing down quite a lot now. And basically, it's it's pretty much similar the hinge mechanism at the back is pretty much similar to this. So if I just show you, it's literally just a bar that goes across and then you have loads of little plastic bits that it's going through. And the weakest point on most toolboxes tends to be this section here. 
So the fact that this one is only using that type of mechanism for the lid means that basically it's, it's a little less susceptible to failure in terms of the structure of the, the box itself. So just drop that down. So you, obviously you can have it like that and basically have it so then everything's um, tucked away. And then obviously before you, you, you lock that, you, you probably want to be putting these these back on and the good thing about these particular ones um, are that it doesn't look like um, they stick out too far because generally what tends to happen is whenever you have these kind of boxes that open outwards the, the the actual locking mechanism sits like that and if you if you're in a busy working environment a lot of times you'll end up getting kicked or something and that's what tends to break them most of the time um, this mechanism itself um, just looks like it's sat on two tabs just where my two fingers are so hopefully that's not a weak point and it won't break off too easily the bar itself underneath if we take a look it's literally just hooked through but as I say because this is unlike most ways literally just one one single unit that goes up and then clips down because this has got two parts to it it does mean that it's a bit more uh, flexible so hopefully there'll be less tension in it um, with that obviously closed, technically the, the top is now secured. So even if you didn't have a padlock, um, none of your tools are going to, it's not going to open up, it's not going to, your tools aren't going to go missing or anything like that. So we'll just take a quick look at the handle as well. So the handle obviously comes out quite far, as you can see. And the idea behind that is obviously to try and reduce the tilt. So the one kind of worry that I had about getting this particular toolbox, if I do replace my existing one, is... If it tips over, then if you do organize anything in those top sections, as I like to do, um, normally I just get some foam, cut the foam out and put all my uh, sockets and everything that I use regularly in the top. So with that, obviously they could tip over and just literally go everywhere, which kind of defeats the purpose of organizing it. But if we, so that's normal height. And as you can see, it's not lifting too far. So as long as you've got your top section closed, all your, your tools and everything shouldn't really go out, fall, fall out too far. Um, the brand of this particular toolbox is Kata or Kata. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation. Oh, I'll just take some look at the, um, the label. So it's basically 57 litres cantilever. And here are the actual di dimensions. So 25.4 by 14.7 by 16.1. And in centimetres, it's basically 64.6 by 37.3 by 41. So the width is the thing that was actually um, concerning me because where I work, I basically need to work between some very narrow um, structures. So because of that, if, if the box doesn't actually go through those, then it's kind of useless to me because I can't get it to where I need to go. So hopefully it will be narrow enough. Um, the existing one that I had is probably about up to there. So it's probably about that 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 wide. Um, I'm not sure in the exact um, size because basically that one, everybody else had one similar. So I knew that that one you could get around wherever you needed to go. But yeah, this was just a quick video that I wanted to make because nobody seems to have a video on this particular toolbox um, in English anyway, showing uh, and giving an opinion on the, the different aspects of it so from the pictures all of this looks really really sturdy and the plastic itself is probably strong enough but as you can see from the wobble um in in the joins um it's not as sturdy as possibly it could be some of it is a little looser than i would have um would have liked the box is 70 pounds in the uk which for this kind of box is probably mid mid to high tier pricing uh, you can get stanley boxes that are similar without the cantilever uh, for probably 30 to 40 pounds so obviously comparing that obviously this being more expensive it should perform better um, but as I say, um, what I may do is post a follow-up video, just giving uh, opinions once I've actually used it on site. Um, and then obviously you can go, go from that for anybody who might be interested in purchasing one.